Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Chris Matthews just mocked Christian evangelicals and their crazy ideas. MSNBC's hardball host Chris Matthews, who is a Catholic, clearly does not have any understanding of or respect for evangelical Christians. He recently proved this in a stunningly nasty set of comments he made. Matthews made an appearance on fellow left-wing MSNBC show Morning Joe, and participated in a discussion about the fact that Republican President Donald Trump declared that the United States has now officially recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. There are arguments to be made against acknowledging Jerusalem's obvious role as the most important city in Israel, but Matthews bizarrely decided to blame evangelical Christians and Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore in particular for the decision. Claimed Chris on Morning Joe about Trump's decision, and a couple more points about this. Don't think this isn't related to Alabama next week. It is related. It is the Christian evangelicals down there with their crazy ideas about Israel, which is, I don't know, mythical. He then smeared evangelical Christians as being dumb and clueless, stating, they don't understand the situation over there and how tricky it is ethnically, how tricky it is tribally. They don't care because it's a religious belief. Trump's playing to that this week. You watch him. Do you think liberal Chris Matthews is a bigot? Obama just said that Trump is like Hitler and will lead America to genocide. After former Republican President George W. Bush exited the White House, he returned home to his ranch in Crawford, Texas and quietly planned his presidential library while organizing events to honor and support military veterans. Bush may not have agreed with his successor Barack Obama, but he stepped aside and let him do his job. Obama, on the other hand, has not just let his successor Donald Trump just do his job. Obama has remained in Washington, D.C., near the White House and undertaken a shadow presidency, meeting with world leaders on behalf of America's liberals. The Democrat reached a brand new post-presidential low, however, when he recently gave a speech to the Economic Club of Chicago where he compared President Trump to Adolf Hitler and accused him of putting America on a path to genocide. Conspicuously, only one member of the press actually reported on his deeply inflammatory and irresponsible comments. According to Crane's Chicago business reporter Gregory Hens, Obama first mocked Americans who voted for Trump as simple, saying, Sadly, there's something in us that looks for simple answers when we're agitated. He then launched into his disgusting smear about Trump, stating that America's danger is growing complacent. We have to tend to this garden of democracy or else things could fall apart quickly. Obama added, that's what happened in Germany in the 1930s which, despite the democracy of the Weimar Republic and centuries of high-level cultural and scientific achievements, Adolf Hitler rose to dominate. Sixty million people died. So, you've got to pay attention. And vote. Do you think it's sick that Obama just openly compared Trump to Hitler? Beyonce gives Kaepernick a huge reward for his personal sacrifice to our country. When you think of someone making a brave personal sacrifice for our country, you tend to think of an American solider, or heroic police officer. What you don't think of? Colin Kaepernick. However, Kaepernick overcame him multi-million dollar oppression in order to receive his award of courage from Beyonce. Thank you, Colin Kaepernick, thank you for your selfless heart and your conviction. Thank you for your personal sacrifice," said Beyoncé while handing him the Sports Illustrated's Muhammad Ali Legacy Award. Colin took action with no fear of consequence or repercussion, only hoped to change the world for the better. To change perception, to change the way we treat each other, especially people of color. We're still waiting for the world to catch up," said Beyoncé. The worst consequence he could have faced is having to retire with him millions of dollars. It's been said that racism is so American that when we protest racism, some assume we're protesting America. 
so let's be very clear, Colin has always been very respectful of the individuals who selfless serve and protect our country and our communities and our families. His message is solely focused on social injustice for historically disenfranchised people. Let's not get that mistaken, said Beyonce. Kaepernick had a response prepared. I accept this award knowing that the legacy of Muhammad Ali is that of a champion of the people. And one who is affectionately known as the people's champ. I say this as a person who receives credit for using my platform to protest systemic oppression, racialized injustice, and the dire consequences of anti-blackness in America," said Kaepernick. Watch Obama take credit for the economic growth we've seen since January. Under President Trump, the United States has seen some of its best economic growth ever. And who wants to take credit for that? Obama. During and climate change in Chicago Obama claimed that despite resistance at every step of the way, his administration's fight against climate change caused the improved economy. As we took these actions, we saw the U.S. economy grow consistently. We saw the longest streak of job creation in American history by far, a streak that still continues, by the way. Thanks Obama, said Obama. Wow how narcissistic. But he is forgetting one thing, the economy vastly improved after Trump was elected. As much as he wants to connect the two, it was Trump that improved the economy, not him. Obama attacked President Trump and even compared him to Hitler in an interview with Chicago Business. But one reason the country survived is because it had a free press to ask questions, Obama added. Though he has problems with the media just like Trump has had. What I understood was the principle that the free press was vital, explained Obama according to the paper. The danger is growing complacent, Obama said. We have to tend to this garden of democracy or else things could fall apart quickly, it said. That's what happened in Germany in the 1930s, which despite the democracy of the Weimar Republic and centuries of high-level cultural and scientific achievements, Adolf Hitler rose to dominate, Obama noted. 60 million people died. So, you've got to pay attention. And vote, it said. This comes right after Obama's Asian tour following Trump. Does Obama need to back off? Chelsea Handler blames President Trump for her house catching on fire. A yield fire has hit Southern California. It has gotten so bad that some Hollywood celebrities have been forced to flee their homes. One of these celebrities is none other than Chelsea Handler. And who does she blame? Donald Trump. Just evacuated my house. It's like Donald Trump is setting the world on fire. Literally and figuratively. Stay safe everyone. Dark times, tweeted Handler. Who knew, but Donald Trump can apparently control fire. He can control the weather. According to Chelsea Handler, President Trump is God. This news comes right after Handler made news for calling Sarah Huckabee Sanders a whore. That harlot that they're dressing up and dropping out every day? I mean, one day she has no makeup on at all, the next she has six foot long eyelashes, she's got cleavage and summer whore lipstick all over her face. Can you believe what they turned her into? A proper trollop, said Handler of Sanders. Earlier Handler claimed that she would be leaving her show to pursue political activism full-time. Like so many across the country, the past presidential election and the countless events that have unfolded since have galvanized me. From the national level down to the grassroots, it's clear our decisions at the ballot box next year will mark a defining moment for our nation," said Handler. For these reasons, I've decided not to return for another season of Chelsea and instead devote as much time as I can to becoming a more knowledgeable and engaged citizen and to focus on projects that have significance to me," said Handler. Her time as a star is almost complete. How many more stupid things will she say before she is gone? Chuck Schumer calls for Franken's resignation after New Woman reveals what would he did to her. Democratic Senator Al Franken was just hit by his most disgusting accusation yet. He was between me and the door and he was coming at me to kiss me. 
it was very quick and I think my brain had to work really hard to be like wait, what is happening? described a woman whose name has been withheld. But I knew whatever was happening was not right and I ducked. I was really startled by it and I just sort of booked it towards the door and he said, it's my right as an entertainer, she said. I don't want to be in the position of deciding whether to tell this story but I'm not the person who put me in that position. He did that. I think for this moment in time to lead to meaningful change there has to be more than I'm ashamed but I remember things differently accounting, she said. After this accusation, 31 Democratic senators called for Franken to resign. Even Chuck Schumer. Senator Franken should resign. I consider Senator Franken a dear friend and greatly respect his accomplishments, but he has a higher obligation to his constituents and the Senate, and he should step down immediately, said Schumer. Franken denied the woman's allegation. This allegation is categorically not true and the idea that I would claim this as my right as an entertainer is preposterous. I look forward to fully cooperating with the ongoing Ethics Committee investigation, said Franken. Mike Huckabee hits Chelsea Handler with a surprising response after she calls his daughter a whore. Comedian Chelsea Handler made headlines after calling White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders a whore. Mike Huckabee defended his daughter in a brilliant way. That harlot that they're dressing up and trolloping out every day? I mean, one day she has no makeup on at all, the next she has six foot long eyelashes, she's got cleavage and summer whore lipstick all over her face. Can you believe what they turned her into? A proper trollop, said Handler. Mike Huckabee responded in a surprising way. I'm surprised that there were not women on the left who at least had the decency to call her out for this. I know you're probably expecting me to be very angry about it, but truthfully, when I read what she said and then I watched it, I felt sorry for, Handler, explained Huckabee. She seems like a very angry and bitter person. Look. She's almost as old as me. So this is at a point in her life, she needs to start mellowing out. And she seems to be just in a rage. The sad thing about it, she boasts about the two abortions she had at 16. I think in many ways she's jealous of my daughter, said Huckabee. My daughter has a husband who loves her and is wonderful to her. My daughter has three delightful children. She's a happy, balanced person. She enjoys life. She's a pretty straight-laced person, goes to church, and lives a life Chelsea Handler has never known, said Huckabee.